Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I've got a fun way to give some new life to old belts with a whole new purpose. And for a different twist, you don't have to stick with pure leather belts. In fact, we're going to go through choosing the best belts for this purpose, kind of the tools you're going to need we'll look at along the way, and then we'll jump into making a couple of these different kinds of leather cuffs and other cuffs. I'm going to start off with a pure leather belt, but regardless of the type of material you're choosing, the tools and the methods are pretty much the same. So I'm going to grab this first black leather belt and I'm going to work with the end that already has the belt holes in it because I kind of like the way it looks and the taper end at the end of the belt actually adds a nice little look too. The key on the overlap here is twofold. One, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch for putting in the snaps that we're going to add, but you also want to be able to allow this to have some extra play so that you don't put it on and have it really tight around your wrist. So when you decide to buy those snaps, I recommend getting it as a kit. That way you have the tool and some extra snaps. That way you can take a scrap piece of material, make a first test run at the cuff and decide if the way you've set it up fits well. If you want it a little looser or a little tighter, you can change it in your final version. When you get one of these kits that's seen in the picture here, you get a lot of the extra snaps and they don't cost very much, which adds an extra level of relief if you take that scrap piece of material and play with the snaps so that you get them set the right way. That way, if you made a mistake in getting them set up, you're not gonna be too annoyed because it wasn't your best piece of material you were working with. It just takes a couple of light taps to really set these well, so you don't have to smack it really hard. It's best to give it those light taps first, check it to see if it seems secure enough, and if you would like it a little bit more solid, hit it a couple more times and just get it set into place. Well, whether you call it a wrist cuff, a bracelet, or a wrist cuff bracelet, I guess it really doesn't matter, but our first one is done. So I'm gonna grab a wider belt and give it another shot. As I mentioned earlier, even though this is a wider belt, I'm pretty much using the exact same steps, but at the end of the video, I do show some suggestions and options for alterations depending on the type of material and just your general preferences. So if you've not used these kind of snaps before, you may be asking yourself, which cap do I add to the socket and which one do I add to the stud? And it's actually a good question. The answer as far as I'm concerned is it really actually doesn't matter. I typically take the finished cap side, the one that's gonna go on the outside of the cuff and put the stud underneath that. These two that I made as examples for this video were actually made out of leather, but they don't have to be in order for it to work. My only key objective is to make sure that it's the thick, sturdy material so that it will hold up and not come apart once I have it made and want to be wearing it, especially if it's something I want to give to somebody as a gift. As you can see here from some of these other examples, the limitation is only your imagination. It's whatever you're comfortable with, so have some fun, try some different styles, Maybe even try setting it up with two snaps on a belt. Experiment with some materials, especially if you have belts that you're going to just throw away. Might as well have some fun playing around with them first and see if you can make something unique out of it.
why not? It's a great way to repurpose and recycle. You can try the synthetic leather belts if you'd like to, but just be aware that they may start to break down. The other leather laminates, or leather bonded, may end up coming apart as well. I'd try to avoid those if you can. Thank you very much for stopping by Dialed In DIY today to check out my video. If you enjoyed it, or maybe just got some ideas for things you could do with some old belts, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up. Also, share your ideas with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and then ring that bell so you get the notifications for my new videos, and then make sure to come on back because there'll be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.